Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're getting a little bit closer to Halloween, so I'm going to try some, uh, you know, horror games as we're getting closer to Halloween. There's some Halloween stuff coming to Skittrick Soul as well too, but while we're waiting for that, I want to play one round of Phasmophobia again. This is, the, this is a real solo run because this time I have no Twitch chat with me at all. This is just fun for you guys. I want to try to get through this and not die. And I want to give you some tips and tricks about this game and tell you about what this game is all about. So let's get right into the video. All right, so this is Phasmophobia. It's one of the biggest horror games right now. It's a co-op horror game, so you can play with your friends, a party of up to four people. It's also for VR too, and maybe we'll do a VR run in a couple days. But today we're just be running by ourselves, so we're doing a solo run. So I'm gonna click play and create a private server. All right, so here we are, level 115, no big deal. You notice too, there's a number above my head. That is my heart rate. So we're gonna go in this with a heart rate monitor and let's see if I can get scared. Let's see if I can keep it under 100. All right, farmhouse professional. We'll do this one. And what we're doing here, we're hunting ghosts. Basically, there's a bunch of different kinds of ghosts in the house. And we don't know which kind it is. We bring pieces of equipment to kind of determine where the ghost is. We have to determine what kind of the ghost it is. And we have to leave the house and not die while doing that in the process. Basically, we're going in and out trying to figure out what kind of ghost this is. Gathering all the evidence and clues without dying. And that is the point of the game. You grind and grind, you get more money. And you get more equipment, and you get harder missions. And that is how the game goes. So let's bring some stuff. We're going to bring, a, bring an extra photo camera, lighter, crucifix, extra, uh, bring a smudge stick, and all these things here, tripod, strong flashlight, motion sensor, sound sensor, thermometer, uh, maybe some sanity pills just in case. And that's all we need. We don't need anything else. Everything else is uh, kind of unnecessary. Well, so ready up. And I'm already getting scared, man. <laughs> I'm already getting scared. I don't know why I'm doing this by myself. I don't like this, man. I don't like this. Okay. So, I can carry three things at a time. I like to carry, these are what I like to carry the most. So, flashlight, strong flashlight, camera, thermometer. That's the three items that I always carry into the house first because I'll be looking for evidence right away, getting pictures of that, and I'll be looking for a, a thermometer reading. Uh, the thermometer is one of the only items in this whole entire shelf that will show me where the ghost is before it shows itself. Mostly other things will kind of uh, take more time for it to really appear. But the thermometer is probably the most overpowered item. I could use the EMF because it is an objective. But anyway, these are my objectives right here. So we have to cleanse the area near the ghost with a smudge stick. We have to find evidence of paranormal activity with the EMF reader. Capture a photo of dirty water in a sink. We might not get that one. That's a little bit hard to get sometimes. And the ghost name is Carol Williams. I'd like to take a picture of that. Because I usually forget its name immediately as I leave the leave the place. I'm actually already getting scared, dude. Oh my god. Like I feel my vo I'm like talking fast because of my I'm so scared. I have a picture of the ghost name here, so I can just look at my book and see Carol Williams, that's the name. On professional difficulty, I have zero minutes at all. Like usually on amateur or intermediate, you have a timer that counts down and the ghost won't hunt you until that time runs out. Professional difficulty, the ghost can hunt me right away. I can walk in the door. And the ghost can hunt me right away. But we're gonna walk in there with the thermometer. Try to find something somewhere that's cold. But there's two things I'm doing off the bat here. I'm not sure if it works anymore. I've had issues with these past couple days. But I want to find these voodoo dolls. And they're pieces of evidence. They should count as evidence. So I'm in the house. I heard something in this room right here. There's, it's already touching stuff in here, I believe. Not cold not cold but if there's a voodoo doll in this closet right here right here see take a picture of that let me step outside really quick because i'm scared as heck uh see this interaction picture that's a voodoo doll interaction it's like i get ten dollars for that it's money i want to get the other voodoo doll really quick which is upstairs and there actually there's probably a bone in here too so i'll probably just check the whole entire house really quick um, I, I feel like the ghost is either in here or right above me in that room. I'm actually already terrified. Alright, so let's walk over here. I'm looking for a bone. And the, the, another voodoo doll's upstairs. So a bone is like a little chicken bone that should be on the ground somewhere. And what's even more annoying with this game... Oh, it's, it's right here in the washroom. Look, see how cold it is? Right here. It's right here in the washroom with me, so I can probably drop my uh, thermometer. I don't don't need it anymore. If it goes to freezing, I'll see it freezing. Um, the dirty water probably will happen because it's in the washroom, so that's good. But I'm still gonna look for a bone. I'm gonna go through the whole entire house still. I know where the ghost is though, so when I come back, I'm gonna put the equipment there. 
And like I was saying, the worst part about this game, I'm explaining this stuff to you guys, but the ghost can hear me. This game, this game is voice activated, so whenever I talk, whatever I say, will trigger the ghost and make it make it angry. But if I say like, give me a sign, or come here, or show me yourself, whatever, it will make the ghost do things, and I don't like that. <laughs> The more I explain to you guys, the more angry it gets. So I'm gonna go for this other voodoo doll up here, while looking for a bone. I think I'm okay up here, because the ghost is definitely downstairs. Alright, so I'm looking around. Nothing. I bet you my heart rate is super high, because this is scary as hell. So the go when the ghost hunts me, my light will start flickering. My flashlight will flicker. And since it can hear me, I have to be quiet, or else it will chase me and kill me. So when it starts flickering, I'm going to be quiet and not talk at all. Here's another voodoo doll right here in the corner. That's another interaction in my, in my book right here. So that counts as more money. And there could be Ouija boards as well. I'm looking around for Ouija boards. I don't see a bone yet. Sometimes you could miss the bone. It's, it's always in a weird spot, so it might be hidden behind something. There's nothing here. So there's two things I can do when the ghost hunts. I can either run and try not to get caught. Or I can... There's the bone right there. Or I can hide and try not to get killed. And that's always usually a little bit scarier for me. I like to, I like to run if I can. But in these small houses, uh, you usually get cornered and it's very, very tough to run. So I think I'm good. I have the bone and two voodoo dolls. I don't have to go into those other rooms because I have everything I need. I just need to get more, more stuff for the ghost now. So I'm going to drop the camera in the doorway. Oh, hear that dirty water over there? I'm going to get this picture of dirty water really quick and hopefully it doesn't kill me. Or try to. There's some dirty water running. I can get a picture of that. Turn it off. Leave. It turned the light on too. Look, the lights are on now. I'll drop this. And I think my... Is my voice... Yeah. So you see how uh, my my breath is freezing? So the, it's freezing temperatures in here. If I read the thermometer, it'll be minus. But it, you don't need to see the thermometer for freezing. It just, it'll show in your breath. So that is really creepy, dude. Carol was not having it. Oh, man. What is my heart rate, dude? Oh, my God. I've, oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, Carol. All right, we have to grab some more stuff now. So I know where the ghost is. I don't have any evidence yet. Actually, no, I do. Sorry, I have the uh, all this stuff, interactions, and the bone, which is the house is complete. It's pretty much sweeped. I have freezing temperatures. All I need is one more piece of evidence, and I can kind of slim it down. So basically, here are the ghosts that there it could be. It could either be a spirit, a wraith, a phantom, poltergeist, banshee, jinn, mare, revenant, shade, demon, yuri, or oni. And every single ghost has three different kinds of traits of evidence that they will give off. And I only have freezing temperatures so far, so it's only a couple of these. But I want to slim it down even more. What I will... I'm going to be doing a multiple trips into the van here. So the first thing I want to bring in is a camera, because I'll be coming back. And I need to check the cameras for, for ghost orbs. And the next thing I want to do... What's my sanity? 89? So my sanity goes down as I'm in the dark in there. So the lower it is, the more chance of me getting attacked it will be. So if I'm below like 40%, that's pretty low. Um, right now I'm okay though, so I don't need to smudge yet. But I might bring in an EMF reader just for the objective. Or maybe we'll bring in a book because that can be looked at on the camera. Let's watch this. I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to put the book in front of the camera, and when I come back for my second trip, I'll check the book and the camera for orbs and ghostwriting at the same time. So two birds with one stone with this one. And try not to die. Try to stay alive. So it's always tough when it's in a washroom because it's one of the smallest rooms. And the ghost orbs are really hard to capture sometimes. Especially when the lights are on. I'm going to put the camera right here. I'm going to turn the light. Actually, what do I have? Oh, this? I'm going to put this right there. I'm going to turn the light off. 
and I'm gonna close the door. I'll be right back. I'm getting shivers down my whole body. I don't like this. It's in a good spot though. It's it's really in a good spot. The ghost is in a perfect spot for me to capture it. I can all I have to do to run away from it is line of sight it. So it's actually in a pretty decent spot if it starts hunting. It's usually really bad if it's in a hallway or in the middle of the of the house because there's nowhere to run. Um but look, here we go. So there's the book is on camera. And I don't see any orbs yet. But it's such a small room, I'll probably have to do another placement of this camera. I'll have to put it into that corner and look this way. Oh, there we go. There's an orb right there in front of the camera. We just saw an orb, but there's still no writing. But I just saw a ghost orb. So I can put that into the book. Ghost orb. And I'll just keep looking for more, more stuff. Nothing happened yet to the book, so I don't think it's going to be ghost writing. But I slimmed it down to there's two pieces of evidence so far and if I go to ghost type here I can scroll over it's either gonna be a phantom a mare or a Yuri. There's only three options now And I can read through that So phantom mare or Yuri a phantom will be emf5 a mare will be spirit box and a Yuri will be ghost writing So there's no ghost writing yet so That tells me I have to bring in the spirit box and the EMF reader. And it's probably going to be EMF 5 because my objective right here is EMF reader. So I'm going to bring in both of those. I don't need to bring in anything else. Like the fingerprints won't be that at all. I know that for sure. It's going to be this or this. And I'll bring in these. And as my sanity drops, I'm going to have to come back for more stuff like a crucifix and a smudge stick. The smudge stick is probably the best option next. Um, after I get these in there. It might actually be a good option to do it right now. Honestly, but I think I'll just uh, do this first. My sanity is still pretty high, but it could attack me. Uh, the smudge stick will prevent it from hunting me temporarily. But I'm going to do that next. So one of these will work. This is a radio. I'll turn it on and try to talk to it. And the other thing I got is an EMF reader. And this thing will go off no matter what. But I don't know if it will go to 5. We'll see here. Usually for this to go to five the ghost has to be pretty mad and that's usually hard to get sometimes when you're by yourself so i'm gonna leave this on the ground right here so no matter what that will probably go off the ghost stands there and now i have to talk to it hello where are you is somebody here okay it didn't talk to me yet but I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm gonna get some more stuff really quick. I'm gonna get a crucifix. Yeah, I'll probably get the, get the smudge stick. I don't want to hunt yet, but I have all my stuff in there. And I'm basically just waiting. Honestly, for that EMF, EMF reader to go off, it'll probably be, probably be that. I'm gonna smudge the room, and I'll come back one more time, grab a camera and the crucifix. That's it. So I'm gonna smudge with the lighter. You need a lighter for this one. And that's all I can that's all I can carry right now. I'm gonna do that for this objective and then I'll come back for this camera and crucifix and then I'll be safe. I like that's in the bathroom because the crucifix will probably work no matter what. It has a three meter radius and it'll prevent it from hunting me. So I think I'll actually be safe this round. I might not die but I'll probably get still get scared no matter what. Let's see if it does something here. I gotta smudge the room. Alright, some smudge in the room. It's still freezing in here, so it's probably still in here. Hasn't left. Smudge in the room. Uh, it's not talking on the spirit box. It just moved the door. Um, I can't take a picture of that. Usually if I had a camera, I could take a picture of the door and that would count as an interaction for money. But I don't have any photos with me. So I'm gonna have to leave and grab more, some more stuff. But it won't hunt with that crucifix. I think it buys me a couple minutes. It buys me some time there. All right, so I'm gonna come back. And now I'm gonna have to start saying her name to make her mad because if you look at the board here, 
It says her name is Carol Williams. This ghost also seems to respond to everybody. Doesn't matter I'm alone. You should be able to use its name to anger it. So if I say Carol Williams in there, it'll make it mad. And it'll probably it'll probably show up. I'm gonna grab this and a camera for when that happens. I'll take a picture of the ghost if I can. I'll take a picture of any interactions. Like that flickering light would have been nice, but I'm not in there right now. And yeah. Let's just whatever whatever happens, I have five pictures to take now. And I could pop some pills. But I think the EMF reader is going to require me to have lower sanity. I'm not really concerned about my sanity, honestly. I don't really care if it goes to zero. People are like really concerned about their sanity in this game going to zero. It just makes it attack more. But if you know where to hide or how to hide, you should be okay. And just for you guys, I kind of want to get attacked. I want to see it happen. All right, here we go. We're going in, boys. And girls. We're going to drop the crucifix right away. Right in the middle of the room. There's still no writing. I got the EMF reading of two. I got a picture of the light there, which should count as interaction. Come on, where is it at? Oh, that's scary. We got no interaction with the light. It hasn't touched the book. Where are you? I'm gonna pick up the EMF reader and call its name out. This is how I get the EMF to go to five. Carol Williams. Carol Williams. Touch the touch the door there. That's a picture. I'm gonna grab the crucifix and place it a little bit more in the middle of the room. Right in the middle there, so it doesn't attack me at all. Carol Williams. Carol Williams. Show yourself. Where are you? Show yourself. Where are you? Show yourself. Give me a sign. I'm just waiting for the ghost to give me an EMF or just show up so I can get a picture of it. Where are you? Carol Williams. Give me a sign. Where are you? Carol Williams. Carol Williams. Carol Williams. Carol Williams. Okay. Wait. He's not making the EMF go off, though. There's a four. Carol Williams. Did I get a ghost picture? I got a ghost picture already? She wasn't in the picture. But I think this is going to go to five in a second here. Carol Williams? Carol Williams, but she's getting more mad as I say this. So she doesn't like the EMF reader, that's for sure. Carol Williams, it's a four. Carol Williams, Carol Williams, Carol Williams, show yourself. Got it, boys. We got it. All right, so we can probably hop out of here now. And she hasn't even hunted yet. The crucifix might have stopped the hunt. So keep in mind, I had the crucifix in the middle of the room. It works twice. So she could have tried to hunt me twice already. And you can never tell if the crucifix has been used. So I'm not sure if she's been using the crucifix or if it's been working. I'm not really sure yet. I'm kind of scared, honestly. But all of my objectives are done. I have all the pictures I can ever take. Um, and that's... Pretty much a, the full amount of money you can get in this game so i have dirty water interaction a ghost picture interaction my book is filled so i can't get any more pictures anyway i have uh these two voodoo dolls and i have the bone the voodoo dolls are only in the farmhouses by the way and the bones are in every single map but it's harder to find them at bigger maps like like that like asylum or high school but that's it we're done that was a good run boys boys that was a good run guys good run good run we got all the evidence, all the objectives. These are optional objectives too, and I can hop out of here now. And I have to actually do one more thing. I almost forgot, which is pretty pretty bad. I have to make sure I lock it in. So I have EMF five, and that was a phantom. That's why it disappeared when I took a picture of it. Phantoms do that. To lock it in, to get the heck out, and that's the game. And it changes depending on uh, what. Quite a ghost it is. Like some are, some ghosts are more aggressive. Some ghosts are like shy, 
And that was it. We got 250 bucks from that phantom. All the objectives, all the evidence. I'm not sure what the insurance means, honestly. But look at that. 250. We gained like two levels, I think. That's pretty good. And we got this objective too. Get a $50 Forda reward. That's pretty, pretty damn good. Over here too, it shows like all of the pictures you got. I can look back and reflect upon what I got there. All my pictures. And here is probably the best part of the game, honestly. Huh. Hell yeah. 500 points for you guys. All right, guys. Well, I'm still scared. My heart rate is... I don't think it's that bad, but I am pretty nervous right now still. This game kind of makes me like really anxious, but I love it a lot. So hopefully you guys liked the video. And that was my kind of quick tip guide of like what I like to do in this game. Um, depending on what kind of ghost it is, or what kind of what kind of objectives I have initially, it will change. You know what I uh, end up bringing inside first. But that was a really good run, a uh, really really solid run. We didn't even get hunted once, and we found all the evidence and objectives. Got all the pictures in and out quick. Solo professional, really really good. All right, but anyway, hope you guys liked the video, and I will see you next time. Peace, guys.